So we're going to start from arguably one of the hardest positions to get the back control because Mount is, well, his back is totally unavailable. It's completely in contact with the ground. So how are we going to get it? So a very simple way is we're going to go for the Americana. <coughs> going back to bases again, don't just use your loose arms to push Americana. You're not going to get it. Generally, when they defend like this, you have to wedge your elbows into your hips and you drive straight on. Let's just for completion sake finish the Americana. So my elbow goes down to the ground. I use my head to pin down. This hand goes underneath the gap under his tricep, gripping my own wrist. And it's the tiniest movement. I am trying to raise his elbow while creating a little twist. All right. Now, after you've done that drill, we're going to do the same thing again. But he's going to defend. Here, yeah. as soon as he defends, now what has he done? Exposed his back, all right? What we're going to do now is I'm going to put my chest on his tricep here. Like this, reach around, grab for the gift wrap. Spin around the Gift wrap, all right? Slightly different technique now. Normally, we would go for the Kimura grip and do the chair sit. That's fine for basics, but for you guys, I think you'll need something a little bit more um, workable against uh, a higher level opponent. So we're at this position where I'm using my chest. I've got the grip back, but this hand is free now. What am I going to do with this hand? I'm going to just grip here. Okay. Actually, gr over grip is nice if it's available. It doesn't really matter, but this one is, will become apparent later. And what we're going to do is call the straight jacket here. So he has no opportunity to grasp you or his hands to defend. We're going to use this <coughs> to pull here and rotate around. Can you see the position that we're in? Yeah. Which ties in very nicely with my discussion in the fundamentals where his hands are really annoying. They defend from the back. Well, he's not defending anything from here. His hands are there. Um, and it's a little bit of a tussle, but generally because of where I am, I still got good control. So try free your arms. Yeah, he's going to maybe get one eventually out. But at the same time, as soon as he, I find the, the right moment, I'm going to start attacking. So, let's do that again. The only difference for you is that we're going to go for the full Americana, just some practice our basics, blah, blah, blah. Then we're going to do the same thing again. Defense, use the opportunity. Look how I sank really low down, like really, really low, as low as I can get. So my chest is jamming his back so he doesn't roll back down again. Look at where my knee is, look at where my heel is here. I'm reaching around. If it helps, you can push down here, but ultimately I want this hand. Keep them apart. Do you see, that's why they call it straight jacket, because your arm's like this, yeah? Here, now we use my arm, see my arm here, to lift, feed my leg out, so I have control of his hips, and then we can proceed from there to start attacking with our usual attacking repertoire, which we'll cover in another lesson. But for now, it's getting to the back, and this is a good way to get to the back. Yes? <laughs> uh, Dean, you're okay with that? It's really basically just grabbing your arm. One, two, three, let's go. So drill that and flash or or magical or something weird about these techniques, they're, they're, they're pretty straightforward. Now, a very common way to escape the mount is when he does drag over, he drags that leg over here. As long as your knee is still on the ground, you still have a mount, you still have control over that. You lose it when he starts to grab and gets into this and he starts bringing his knee and starts escaping. We all know this, this is a fairly basic escape. So if we, from here, and he grabs here, as soon as you feel the you switch. Okay, you switch, and you need to be here. Once we're here, we go for our usual routine. I can either get the hands, I get the seatbelt grip, with the collar. But regardless, we want a tight grip over his upper body, and I want my chest as low as I can. It might even help to drive him forward. That allows this leg to be free, the chair sit. Okay. It doesn't get simple, but the skill is in your timing and your, your understanding that you're about to lose the mouth control. Now, I spin around so I'm here, I'm working, I'm like that. Bang! Cross drive. Maybe get this grip if you want, maybe get a straight jacket. Yeah, let's play with both of them. Look at this leg. It's free because I've driven forward. This leg is now weightless. Try it underneath. Now, one final word of this, I thought, well, why do I have to wait? 
until he does that. Why can't I just tempt him with a little <laughs> back? That's difficult, getting rid of this bit. This bit isn't necessarily hard, because I can tempt you, they will grab it. He's getting past this arm, so you're going to have to get used to driving that across, getting your chest underneath and driving through and turning your body so we're here. Got that? Yes. Everyone got that? Yes, one, two, three. So, bottom people, do your job. I can't have it for this one. The under of back here. my leg for a quarter guard, uh, but he's not presenting his back, all right, his back, he's kind of clever about this. So if I were to really insist on this one, and then up here, which actually would give him a nice way to shrink out, get me in, and I will defeat him. That is the Now we've just seesawed the technique. Three, three. So he's got the leg stick. grab here. Um, we're going to sit back on that leg here. We're going to sit back on that leg here and we're going to see how my foot is available here. We're going to join him here. So that's phase one. Sit back. The lower down you are, because effectively we're controlling his hips. The lower down you are, the better. Now here's the bit everyone sort of finds difficult. I must drop this shoulder to the ground. All right. And now it's a matter of exposing his hip, which you then attack. The back here, alright? It's not very easy to show slowly. That's not so good. Come on. Here. I should do the back or something. So he petitions for my leg. And he's got my I can already see that it's futile to try and get him to expose his back here. I'm going to sit back here. So see what I've done? I've collapsed his knee. There are various methods of doing this. There's a more freestyle method. But I prefer the method where I'm going to try and my legs in. I'll spin around again so you can see this bit. Now here's the tough bit. You need to get this shoulder to the ground. It, uh, it can help if you want to grab his leg as well, which acts as a lever. See what I'm doing? Now see what I'm doing with my foot here? This is a lever, but I need to push the lever here. Push, grab his hip. Grab his shoulder, so he doesn't run away, so he doesn't run away. If you're going to turn away from me, this is the danger. Here, get the hook, now get full back control. One more time, if I'm able, I'll show you how this is going to do. See what Emma does here. He sits on collapsing his knees. His knees are together, and he's doing that twisted, contorted body thing. Okay, I'm now going to my legs here. There is a version where you go. It's a bit more freestyle. It's faster, but it's looser, which means you can lose it. So yeah. Now drop my shoulder. And the first thing is the you really don't want him running away because his instinct is to get away from you. Here, now the shoulder. Spin, 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 spin. It's actually, it looks like a fast rotational movement, but actually it's a series of steps. Climbing the rope. And once you get a sense of that, it will, it will become natural for you to do. Spinal cord, you should love this. This should be up your street. Stay good, stay good. He's always right. For a Ross. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is for an effort. Do you know what that means in Brazilian point? It's not very nice. So he does the leg grab the stick. As soon as you feel that, sitting on his knees here, knees together, okay. I'm going to try with my legs here, and my this shoulder touches the ground first, which means you have access to his far foot. Yeah? Bring that. Now there are many ways that this could go wrong. He could do the same to you from here, so you have to control his lever here. It helps to use your spare foot to push on your own leg. 
in the right direction. It might need a little bit of shrimping and shuffling around to get where you want. As long as you know where you want to get, you'll get there. Does that make sense? Because for him, he's upside down. He's going to where he's going to do that. You are in control. You know where you're going. Do you want to see that again? Okay. Um, yes, everyone. Look at everyone's face. You're either going e or you're going yeah. <laughs> 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 Every time I show you, it's an Okay, guys. One, two, three. Let's go.